CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.4, Given a Scenario, Use the Appropriate Microsoft Windows 10 Control Panel Utility. Devices and Printers. Our next stop on the Control Panel Tour is Devices and Printers. This is the location where you can see and manage all the devices connected to your computer, from printers and scanners, to external hard drives and monitors, as well as a few other items sprinkled in between. When you open Devices and Printers, you'll see a list of icons representing your devices. Each icon provides a quick visual of what's connected to your system. This utility makes it easy to add, remove, and troubleshoot devices. Now some of you may have noticed that a printer behind me is grayed out. This means that it is not currently available for use. This typically happens for a few reasons. It could possibly be a permissions issue, where only an administrator has access to those settings. Alternatively, the device might not be fully installed or connected. For instance, if your printer is offline or has a driver issue. Now, let's focus on what happens when you right-click on a printer. Right-clicking on your printer icon opens up a menu with several options. First, there's See What's Printing. This option opens the print queue, where you can view and manage current and pending print jobs. You can pause, restart, or cancel print jobs from this window. Next, we have Set as Default Printer. If you have multiple printers, this option allows you to set one as your default. The default printer is the one that will be automatically selected when you print from any application and is designated by the green circle with a check mark inside. Then, there's printing preferences. This option lets you customize your print settings. You can choose paper size, orientation, print quality, and other preferences specific to your printer model. Another useful option is printer properties. This opens a more detailed settings menu where you can configure various aspects of your printer. Here, you can change the printer name, adjust ports, and manage driver settings. It's also where you'll find printer sharing and security options. If you're having issues with your printer, you'll want to use Troubleshoot. This option starts a troubleshooting wizard that attempts to diagnose and fix common problems, such as connectivity issues or driver conflicts. Lastly, there's Remove Device. If you no longer use the printer or it's causing issues, you can remove it from your system. This option uninstalls the printer drivers and removes the printer from the devices and printers list. No matter what hardware you have connected, devices and printers is your control center for managing them. Whether you need to add a new device, troubleshoot an issue with an existing device, or adjust a device's settings, this utility has got you covered. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.